everyone welcome to or welcome back to another video on my channel i am doing another cash stuffing video for those who are new here my name is ayana and honestly i am just doing everything to become on my financial debt free journey while still maintaining and living my best life so if any of that interests you i hope you stick around i hope you hit that subscribe button turn on that post notification and be notified every single time that i upload and for those that are returning hey how has it been how well like girl what you been up to what have you been up to i want to know make sure you let me know that in the comments down below because you know i love to chat with you guys but um for those who are new how are you doing i still want to know how you guys are doing too what brought you to my channel and everything like that let me know i like to talk down below um so a couple of things i apologize one for the shadow and two for the lighting going in and out i am technically using natural lighting so the sun keeps doing what it, the sun wants to do best and she's going in and out okay um secondly a couple of church announcements before we get started the first thing i want to uh, say is girl i was supposed to have two other videos go up before this one but the sd card basically corrupt like my computer like froze while i was in the middle of editing it and now it won't let me save any of the videos like it won't let me export them to download them and like um to upload them i mean sorry like it won't let me export them off the sd card to upload them to youtube but i have to edit like girl the videos is just gone at this point like i can't use it so sorry that there's been a little delay i was already behind anyway so i guess this helps me get caught up because now i'm caught up but it caught up in a sense of posting i was behind with posting i was up to date with recording so now you guys are seeing this a little bit more real time. So I guess that's great. I just got paid on the 5th. Today is the 8th. I had a fun little weekend. And so now I'm back to get my life reset. The second church announcement that I'll say is if you guys do have me on Etsy, you will see that I had put my Etsy shop on vacation mode. And I decided to take a little pause from my Etsy shop for multiple reasons, guys. My life has just been turned like upside down, flipped all around, literally, I feel like every year. And I feel like I've been just doing a lot to basically almost fill my time. I've been spending literally, oh. Okay, I'm back. The SD card was full, so I had to delete some stuff off the SD card so that way I could keep filming. But um, I just, I look, I feel like I've been so unhappy with my life that I've been trying to just fulfill my space and time and stuff with that makes sense to you guys. Rather than just letting go, trusting God, and just finding happiness with where i'm at so i keep basically adding things more to my capacity more to my plate and basically running myself thin basically you know burning the candle at both ends if you will um just to try to get a better financially free at my pace rather than you know god's pace if you will so i've been just trying to go 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 and i've been feeling so stretched i've been feeling so dipped down i've been feeling so depressed i've been feeling so sad so i decided i mean you know what i'm going to take a step back and i'm going to relinquish some of the things that i keep adding to my plate and i'm one going to find enjoyment with what i have because i truly believe that if you can't be content, if you can't find happiness where you are, you're not going to be able to be blessed because you're not even going to be able to acknowledge the blessing. Because like when you get it, it's still not going to be enough because you don't know how to be happy with where you are. So I'm trying to get to that point in my life and becoming debt free is like a very big, big factor in my life right now i feel like once i get debt free i'm able to really move in the ways that i wouldn't have been able to move prior um and while yes having a business will ultimately make me money the stress that comes with owning a business and being an entrepreneur and, and having to promote it and having to push it out there to people and things of that nature to even get people interested in buying your products is a lot on me right now so i had to take a break but i will still be like posting on youtube girl we're not going nowhere from that aspect now because i like realized like being a content creator and that's what this is it is a full-time job now this version of my content creation is a little bit more relaxed right but i do have another channel i do have other pages i want to do fashion beauty lifestyle content and that takes up a big chunk of my capacity so i was literally just running myself 
way way too thin <laughs> so and everything is taking money that i barely have right so and don't get me wrong i understand you have to spend a little money to make a little money but if i'm like i felt like i was spending more than i was making girl like it was it was bad <laughs> so i had to just really take a step back at my life and just kind of reevaluate so where my priorities are so my priorities if you guys have been following me you know that i'm going on a missionary trip in october that is still a priority to pay off that trip then I want to furnish my apartment because I've decided that I'm going to probably be in this apartment for the next couple of years, at least until I'm debt free or until if unless God says, you know, move sooner than that. That's the only other reason why I would probably move quicker. But my goal is to stay here until I'm completely debt free because the price that I'm paying here, I have a two bedroom, two bath. And the price that I paid here, the way that the market is right now, that's the price for a one bedroom. In some areas, that's the price for a studio apartment. So while, you know, I would like the nicer, the upgraded, the fancy type apartment, it's okay. I'm going to be humble. I'm going to wait my turn because when my turn does come, we're going to do our big one, okay? <laughs> so I decided, yeah, I'm just going to like get my apartment together and really make it feel like it's home like really make it my home finally decorated because I haven't been really furnishing my apartment because I'm like oh I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave and then year after year after year comes and I still don't leave right so I'm like you know what let me stop trying to basically you know finish the race before the race even started and just take a step back and honestly go back to the practice and just enjoy the process so those are my church announcements those are the things that are happening um so you'll see so we're gonna get into this cash stuff and i'll probably talk y'all head off we are stuffing a total of 1362 dollars i had some bills that came up last month so i had to pull my from my rent this month to pay those bills last month and basically i'm in this never ending rabbit hole but we're gonna get out of it pretty soon that's why it looks a little bit less so i'm just gonna go to my budget breakdown just so y'all could see um i have like what i had to pay in rent this was ended up having to pay last month right i have all my dad's bills and, and all my other bills and stuff here some of them i've already paid so like my gym membership all state got paid journey got paid savior got paid things like that um and then these are like I, I didn't even realize she had this whole other section over here so i literally fit everything scrunched it all into this one page but yeah so i'm gonna set this to the side so that I can see it, but it's out of you guys' way. And I changed these camera settings. So guys, let me know if this is better or worse, <laughs> okay? Um, I feel like I don't know what to do anymore. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna just jump right in to, what is this? These are the, the Jesus. These are my bill binder. <laughs> Allstate got paid BG and E is getting $88. Oh, wait, I have a denomination. She also has denomination thing page in here. And I'm going to use that because that's going to help me a lot better. So BG and E is getting $88. So it's getting a 50, a 20, a 10, a 5, and three ones. So we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88 dollars. And I believe this bill is actually due like in the next two days. So literally all this money is gonna come right back out <laughs> to pay these bills because they're coming up. My car note is gonna get 177. Um, what it always gets. This bill is due next week. So 100. Um 50 75 oops, oops six and seven so we're going to add this to the 177 that's already here and now this bill is fully funded and ready to be paid on its due date so i have 100 200 50 300 20 40 45 uh 50 51 52 53 and 54 so 354 dollars and this is fully funded and i can pay this bill when it's due the crazy part about it like my car note 
I literally can't pay it until the day. Well, I could pay it earlier, but like it doesn't show me that I have a balance to pay until the day my car note is due. But my student loans, if I pay my student loans on the day that it's due, it, it tells me that they're late. And I'm like, how am I paying it on time, but I'm late? Like that don't, the math ain't math in here. Like what's the tea? <laughs> so now I have to pay my student, I have to pay my student loans a day early to make sure I don't register a debt like as if it's late. And I'm like, uh-uh. I don't got time for that. <laughs> My dad's bills is getting 387, so 350, 60, 70, 80, 5, 6, and 7. And that's all that this has in here. I need to get a new tracker for here. Okay. Gym membership got paid, so we're gonna skip that. Mailing got paid, we're gonna skip that. Progressive is getting paid, and I paid this on my credit card, so I need to pay my credit card back, but after this, um, this will be fully funded. So Progressive is getting 147, so it's getting 100, two 20s, a five, six, and seven. So after I do this, I will pay off my credit card that I use to pay this bill with. So I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, and 93. 293, that is the full amount. Um, and I will pay that credit card off once I pull all the money out of here. Rent's not getting anything right now. We have to build back pay this. Um, my student loans is going to get 196. So it's going to have 100, my last 100 here, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, and 6. So I literally will, see look at this lighting going in and out y'all, I'm so sorry. I literally will split my, um, these two bills, these bills in half, which is how they're coming out like this. Cause I get paid bi-weekly. So now this is fully funded and I'm able to pay this when it's due. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91 and 92, 392, that is my full bill for my student loans. And speaking of student loans, I'm gonna show y'all. I basically, this isn't necessarily updated because I did this, uh, I think sometime last month. So I've made a payment since I did this. But um, this is roughly what all my student loans are. I have 14 loans. This is the amount of them. This is all the interest rates. And I actually ordered them in that and the way that I'm going to pay them off. So how I'm gonna pay them off when I'm ready to start doing that and tackling it, I'm going to go from the highest interest rate, lowest amount, and down. So I'm doing, technically I would call, is that the debt snowball or is either the debt snowball? I think I'm doing a, basically a combination of the debt snowball and the debt avalanche challenge, if you will. So, for example, this loan, even though it's only a thousand dollars, well, I have two loans here. So loan eleven and loan fourteen, they both have an interest rate of six point two eight zero percent, which is the highest interest rate out of all these um, loans here because they're my grad school loans. Um, and I'm going to the highest interest rate, and then I'm gonna start with the lowest amount. And once I pay that off, then I'm going to move to the biggest amount. So you see this one down here is $3,941. So I'm going to go highest interest rate, lowest amount. That's how I'm going to tackle my student loans. I hopefully did not, hopefully I did not confuse you guys, but that's how I plan to tackle my student loans when I'm ready to get towards them. Subscriptions isn't getting anything. T-Mobile is getting $93 and this bill is actually due tomorrow so your girl needs to pay it and I've been debating um, going into the T-Mobile shop one because my dad really wants to upgrade his phone and I kind of did tell him for his birthday I would upgrade his phone and his birthday has long gone it was in January girl um, and I have Xfinity internet but 
the 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 girl been she been acting up like i've been trying to work from home it will randomly disconnect if i have too many devices on there it just will randomly disconnect so i was thinking about doing the t-mobile internet like the high data speed internet if you will rather than xfinity because the bill would also be cheaper than my xfinity bill i'm i'm debating but i think i may go and talk to them <laughs> so 50 60, 70, 80, 90, oops, one, two, and three. So then I would really be getting rid of this Xfinity bill, but my T-Mobile bill will go up because I'm adding the internet to there. So I'm just trying to decide, like, all in all, how much would it be? So I want to go chat. Um, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, and 86, 186. That is the bill for both my me and my dad's phones. And that's fully paid, I mean funded, and I can pay that tomorrow. Um, so I literally had to pull this money back out probably today. So that way <laughs> I could get it in my account so that I could pay the bills tomorrow. Xfinity is getting 65, so 50, 60, and a five. Um, oops. So 50, 100, 20, 30, I mean 10, 20, 25, 30. So the bill for just the internet that I have is $130. And I think I saw the Xfinity, I mean the T-Mobile, like the high speed internet was only like $50. So in my mind, it would cut my bill down, right? So <laughs> we'll have to see, it's not gonna be much, but look, if I can find cost savings anywhere, girl, at this rate, let's do it. <laughs> So that's everything for my bill binder. I have a couple of um, envelopes that I'm going to stuff. I'm gonna do gas spending, buffer, and groceries. Um, let me see, gas is getting $25. And I actually have to fill up, which is crazy. <laughs> I need some new envelopes too, y'all. I'm just going through it with life. I'm just going through it, y'all. I'm going through it. Um, spending is getting twenty dollars. Where's my spending envelope? Uh, buffer is getting five dollars. Just getting that in ones. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, that's right. And I'm, I don't think I have, do I have a buffer? I oh, I do. Okay. And groceries is getting $20, which is just going to be a $20 bill. I went and stocked up. That's why I was a little bit behind in my rent. Um, because I used some of that money to get some groceries because we was running very low child. <laughs> okay. So now let's get into my sinking funds. I have added a couple of sinking funds. I added these two in the back. And these are just envelopes that I got off of Etsy a really, really long time ago. I have date night. Me and my boyfriend recently broke up. Um, so this is more like a self date night, if you will. I live in an area that has a bunch of little like coffee shops and little restaurants around that I've lived here for years and never been to probably half of them, like three fourths of them. And so I want to try to start getting out more and going to explore my city a little bit more. So that's what this is for. And then travel. Your girl's about to get herself a passport. So she wants to like travel and stuff more. So that's why I added that one. And then for I think I talked to you guys about redecorating my apartment. I you y'all know me. I'm gonna find a way to use my envelopes I made. So I brought these envelopes back. These were going to initially be for me moving, but now they're gonna be for me refurnishing my apartment. So cleaning supplies, deck, I do have a balcony so I kept this one. Dining room, I have a dining room area. Grocery y'all this camera keep cutting off but this time <laughs> um I have groceries one here the kitchen I have my bedroom, and this section gonna include my bathroom, my office, which is the room that we're in right now. Um, I don't know what I want to do with this. I'm, I don't know. That's an unexpected room. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this room, but I digress. <laughs> so car maintenance is gonna get ten dollars. 
I, girl, the car is making noises that the car should not be making. And I need an oil change. Um, I need my brakes checked. Twenty dollars is not gonna do it. So I need to start prioritizing when with my side hustle money. I'm gonna make sure I start prioritizing car maintenance because I need to make sure the car is good. I added Christmas back. It's literally just me, my dad, and my best friend that I would buy gifts for for Christmas. So I'm okay with starting that like in June. <laughs> Church is going to get twenty dollars today. And did I just do a twenty dollar bill? I did. And what I decided to do is at the end of every month, whatever I have in my church envelope, I'm going to tithe with um, because we broke out here in these streets and we're trying. What's on my hand? Something's on my hand. It looks like I burnt myself. Sorry, I just noticed that. <laughs> looks like I just burnt my whole hand. Y'all see that? Did I burn my hand? I don't remember. It's like a bruise though. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um credit cards is going to get ten dollars and i'm still doing the same thing whenever i um reach a hundred dollars in here i'm going to make an extra payment so i have until i start prioritizing my credit cards the reason why i'm not prioritizing quote unquote my credit cards right now is because i need to free up my paycheck um so i need to start knocking off those type of bills so my car note and my student loans I need to get off so that way I actually free well my goal is like free um knock off my car note and I forgot to bring my other envelope back I am going to bring that envelope back as well I was debating if I'm going to make myself a new one that has the two roses or if I'm just going to grab the one that I had before which is just the one print I haven't decided yet I'll probably figure it out but my goal is to pay off my credit card I mean sorry my car note and then that will free up like $300 a month for me that I could use to go towards my student loans and my credit cards. So, yeah, there, there's, a method, there's a method to the madness, guys. There's a method, I promise. I promise. So, 20 31 and 2 $32 is inside of credit cards right now. But I don't want them to get to the wayside and I, like, completely forget about them, which is why I still want to make sure I'm putting money aside for them. Fuel is going to get $10.00. And like I said, I already, ooh, huh, hmm, girl, we don't have $10 to put in there. Oh, I'm gonna come back real quick. Let me stuff this other stuff. What did I do, girl? Chat, what did I do? How did I mess up? You know what? I think it's in these fives. I think it's these fives. Let me see. Fuel. Let me see. Ah, there we go. Car maintenance, I was supposed to put two fives because I did that by accident. So I'm just going to put these fives in fuel. So now I have $10, $15, $20 in there, plus the $25 that's in my wallet. Um, it's probably all going to get gone because I need to Uber this week. So <laughs> that is how life is going. So now going into my travel binder. Um, and so basically how I'm going to let this travel binder work is I'm going to be stuffing like every week. If you, every time I get paid into the envelope that I put over here, but once I actually have a trip that I want to go on, we're going to move it over here. So that's what I got going on. So the first one we're stuffing is Cape Town and it's getting $40. Um, I think I actually can color in some trackers here. So let's see. We have 120, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3. We have $163 in here. Um, I'll just use my calculator on my phone. It's okay. Okay, so 500. Minus 163. Oh no, that's how much I have left to pay. 100. What is this? 163. 163 divided by 17. Okay, so I should have nine colored in. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I'm about to color this in real quick and I'll be right back.
Okay. So we almost have the first row colored in, which is really exciting. Um, I do have to make this payment by May 1st. So in full transparency with you guys, the money that I have saved in my monthly savings challenge, if I do not fund this before I need to pay it, which is by May 1st, I am gonna pull from there that's sitting in the bank because there's prop money sitting in here. And then I will fund this back once I complete the challenge. So I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it a buck with y'all. I'm just letting y'all know <laughs> what the tea is, okay? Um, so let me get that in there. And then passport. Look, she need to be condensed, but she's literally coming out because I go to get my passport this weekend, actually, which I'm excited about on Saturday. So she's getting $25 and this should, if I'm not mistaken, complete her. And I should have everything I need to get my passport. I need $180. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Oh, I'm a dollar short. Hold on, wait. 100, 20, 40, 60, 65. That's 70, 170, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't remember being a dollar short. <laughs> um, so I have my 180 right here. So I'm just gonna color these in, but we've completed the challenge. Yeah, I colored way outside the lines, but <laughs> it's so literally satisfying completing a challenge. Like I'm going to make more challenges like this for myself for um, like my debts and stuff because literally that was so much fun. I enjoy that so much. <laughs> but yeah, so I also get a bonus check, if you will, in the month of May. And that check I am going to be using to fund because we um so the Cape Town is split up between basically three payments. You have the first payment, which is the deposit of five hundred dollars. You have a your second payment technically of fifteen hundred dollars, which is due by June first, and then you have your last payment of fifteen hundred dollars, which is due by August first. So I get a third paycheck in the month of May. So I am going to use that. I've already kind of figured out my budget so that way I can make sure I can do this but I'm going to use that last paycheck in the month of May to pay the deposit for June and then basically from now until August I'm saving up the rest of this $500 deposit as well as the $1,500 that I need by August 1st and then after I get all of that I'm going to start working on things like this so the trip itself um, it covers hotel it covers food it covers a uh, flight it covers all of that expenses but if I want souvenirs if I want something from the shop or say I'm, my, I'm having big back energy and I want something to eat that's not sponsored or whatever and then also when you're traveling you should have just some money with you I want to make sure I have spending money on me anything extra that pops up for clothes while I'm there. Nails, wanna get my nails done, of course. We're gonna be there for 10 days. Lashes done, probably, cause it should be more convenient. My hair, most likely I'm gonna go with braids. And that's another reason why I'm going with lashes, to get my lashes done, because I just want convenience. Like we're there on a missionary trip. I don't wanna have to be worrying about every morning, oh, I gotta get up, I gotta do my hair, I gotta do my makeup. No, no, I, don't got, I don't got time for that. <laughs> we gotta go help these kids, okay? That's what we're here for, so. I just want everything else to be just smooth. Like, okay, throw the clothes on. Brush teeth, take a shower, throw the clothes on. Let's go. <laughs> Get my toes done. Toiletries that I'm gonna be I need while I'm there. Since we're gonna be there for so long, mind you, this will be my first trip out of the country. Uh, well, where you need a passport. I went, I've been to Puerto Rico, but that's still a US territory. Whatever. 
I, listen, it's, it's, I have never been on that side of the water, okay? <laughs> so this will be my first trip going that far. Um, and we're gonna be there 10 days. So instead of bringing like the little travel size toiletries, I probably will still bring them and put them in my carry-on, but I wanna bring bigger ones. It's gonna actually go in my suitcase. Um, and then of course I wanna get a wax and all that stuff if I need one. When that happens, and my eyebrows. I don't think I have my eyebrow, no. I don't have my eyebrow um, envelope in here. It's over, it's in my drawer with my other things. So I'll add that in here um, shortly. But yeah, so the last one we're gonna stuff is my monthly savings challenge. Yo, I'm so in love with this challenge. I'm just kind of sad to not be selling it. I don't know, I'm thinking, Cause I need something that's not gonna like break too much of a burden on me. I think I might literally, I might keep my shop open, but I might literally only sell my monthly savings challenge bundles. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all think about that because literally I can prep this. So I can like, like take a Saturday and create a bunch to sell. And then once they sell out, they'll just be sold out until I make some more. But, um, it's easier than the custom envelopes where I have to like do them as the orders come in. So I don't know, you guys let me know what you guys think. I'm literally thinking about just having my savings challenge bundles cause I think they're nice and I had a lot of interest for them. So y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. But April is gonna get $24 added to the 14 that it has. So I have 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and $38 inside of April now. And we have two more boxes to check off. And then we'll be done with April. And then I don't have my tracker in here, but so we have a little over $300 saved between January, February, March and then we'll hit the 400 mark when we fill up April and like I said I probably will have to use some of this to pay the deposit but then I'll put that money back um and looky looky ain't that a cookie I think we have finished what <laughs> I think we have finished um stuffing I don't have any more cash left so I'm about to go ahead and get out of here I want to start ubering for the day but I just wanted to say Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. I know my my life has been chaotic. My life has been constantly changing. So it probably comes off on my YouTube channel that everything is constantly changing. But that's because my life is literally constantly changing. <laughs> and I, instead of going into hibernation like I would before, I'm sharing it with you guys. So you're just going through the chaotic mess with me that my life entails so i hope you guys don't mind i hope you guys are willing to stick around we're gonna get to the end of this i mean i'm gonna get to it and you're just gonna see it <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see how long it it takes but yeah so i'm just excited and i hope you guys like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on your post notification be notified every time that i upload and of course leave me some comments down below um i really appreciate um if you got to this point in the video to leave me an emoji and i just want a heart emoji because life has been stressful and i need all of the peace and happiness and love and support that i can get so i uh, yeah, that's what I want. Just any heart emoji that your heart desires. Okay. All right. Bye, guys.